shooting at the 111 Club, 6232 Hollywood Boulevard. Sounds like a homicide beef. Two of the dead guys caught in the crossfire were carrying army surplus morphine. Get over there before homicide tramples all over the place. We already cleared that up. Judge in Pasadena took the big sleep yesterday. He had a personal stash of 20 cigarettes. Appears we didn't get all of it. Well, 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 we have a grumpy head chief dude here. Hey. And I like how the different uh, different groups, Homicide Vice, are like battling against each other for cases and bonus points, basically. We can't seem to put this morphine to sleep. A dead judge. It's not good. Everyone has their vices. Even Phelps. Even Phelps? What is his vice? Getting stuck on walls when he runs or... Just probably shooting people. My God, how many street criminals has he killed? Let's go, Roy. Time to go to the club. I was door knocking all morning. Drive our fancy car that repaired itself magically overnight. That's pretty sweet. Let's manifest our destiny here, Kulsif. The 111 Club. Nightclub and bar. Here we go. Parker and Green are going toe to toe for the top job. There's a change in the wind. About time. Who is Parker and who is Green? I'm guessing those are the two chiefs, and we're about to drive this. The skipper sees us driving around. <laughs> yes, let's take the fire truck, boys and girls. Beep, beep. This wind will be like a tornado, cell. Parker's got a puritanical streak. You never know we'll get swept up in a thing like that. Oh, yes, now we have quite the loud siren, and I'm going to talk very loud over it. So you can actually hear what I'm saying. And that's enough of that. Alright, Cold King on the, the sides. I heard some comments last episode saying, Who is Cold King? Why are you saying Cold King? Man, I gotta go watch those first episodes to see the origins of Cold King. He is like our our most faithful, loyal supporter in all of Los Angeles. Captain Salt is probably number two. This, this fire truck has quite the, uh, the terrible turning radius, I have to let you know. Look, do, 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 do. the club is only a couple bits away, at least it looks like it, so we are going to make a turn at Hollywood Boulevard here. Whoa, whoa, power sliding through cars like a champ. Next, our next mission is to drive a trolley car. I don't think that's possible. But hey, we're driving a fire truck, so anything can happen in this world. Captain Salty. Here we are at the club. Whoa! 360 degree turn around the light post. That is a trick worth 30 points. Okay. Hold up. The 111 Club, 4:32 p.m. Homicide guys are already inside. Lovely. Bukowski, Phelps, back again. We're here about the morphine. Over by the bandstand. You can see what's left of the owner, Eddie McGoldrick, 26, former Marine. I know Eddie McGoldrick. He was a non-com in my old unit. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Cole. Waitress said he recently came into some money and bought the club. Who are the other Vicks? Two musicians, Biddleston and Bo. And get this, they used to be in a four-piece, but the trombone player and the drummer OD'd. Don't tell me. Lamont and Tyree? We've met the rest of the band. Now they're a no-piece. <laughs> Do you mind if we take a look around? Be my guest. You might want a word with the hostess, too. I'll keep her company until you're ready. All right, we'll do some searching. This is the other half of the band. Must have pumped a dozen rounds into it. Certainly sends a message. Yeah, good, good golly. Holy cannoli. When you're ready to have a civil conversation, we can try... Whoa there, woman. We'll meet with you in a second. Were you the trumpet player or the, the who were you? The singer? Bad luck, Eddie. Okinawa couldn't kill you, but knowing the wrong people in this city. Oh, this is the owner of the club. Open up your coat. Nothing. Nothing. He had nothing in his pockets, isn't it odd? Not even a penny or a paperclip. 
Okay, what about your other arm? There's gotta be something on this body. Maybe not? Okay. Just an ordinary dead dude. Ooh. They didn't even try to crack the safe. That is very strange. Money, guns. All they wanted is their morphine, though. We need more morphine. That's what they said. We go in here? No. Watch out, Carruthers. The band! Well maintained, custom case. Someone cared for this instrument. Probably the dude that played it. What's that click? What click? I don't hear what you're talking. Oh. Let's open the case. There's something in the bottom of the case. Open the case! Whoa! Neat trick. The case must have cost more than the trumpet. Hmm. He kept his stash close at hand. Very, 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 very nice. We should follow up on the musician angle. Wasn't the blue room from one of the previous missions, I believe? I believe, I believe, I believe. Here's the other band member. You are dead, too. Nice tie. Sorry, it had to get all tarnished. We have a new source. Or is this coming from what's left in circulation? Hmm. I would guess it's coming from what's left in circulation. Nothing in your coat. Nothing in your coat. Let's check your arms because we like to. Nothing in your arms. Can we check his upper coat pocket? Like, right... No. Like right here? Oh. I was hoping we could look at his, his upper pocket or something, I don't know. Okay. Nothing really weird about your arms. There are more clues to be had, though. What's in the back room? Boxes and boxes. Army surplus again. The Goldrick must have been moving contraband through the club. Naughty, 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 naughty. Stupid jerk. Packs to a carton, hundred cartons or more. Looks like a couple of months' supply. We'll open the box, buddy. We're not okay. Fine. Guns. These look brand new. Never fired. They haven't been degreased yet. We could check on the serial numbers. Huh? Okay, hunting for bear. Look at these things. They're BARs. You get the odd guy who sneaks one of them home from the war. How did he get three of them? With three magic pockets. Army surplus morphine, army surplus weapons, army surplus valors. Sound familiar? We should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly was lifted from the ship. Okay, but look at all the bullet holes in the wall by that picture. They hated the picture, but the dude was hiding by the wall. Let's talk to this lady first. Ma'am, I'm Detective Phelps, administrative by squad. Welcome to the 111 Club, Detective. Feels like I've had half the LAPD in here today already. Well, tell us about the shooting incident. Any idea who did the shooting? No idea. It was my day off. If I had been here, honey, I'd be full of holes just like the others. I don't think that's possible. You are... Should we doubt her? Yes. You want to level with me, miss, before we start taking an interest in you? This place has been on the slide for years. Eddie turns up, buys the club, then we start getting visits from tough guys. Next thing you know, we have the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. 
Are you getting the picture? Not really. So, sort of. Tell us more about McGoldrick. Tell us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the place. The previous owner thought all his Christmases had come at once. That seems pretty true, and you're looking at us like you're a dead person with that stare. Where do you think he got the money? My guess was that he was selling the sort of quality product that you don't need to advertise. Thank you for your help, ma'am. Eddie was in over his head, but he was a decent boss. Well, thank you for being so kind. Carruthers, what's up with you? What are you doing? You want to talk? What now? Okay, or not. Fine. I think I've seen it all. Really, you have. Carruthers has seen it all. Of course he has. Okay, so... Back to the station. There are objectives here at the station. Meet with the robbery detectives or investigate the blue room. We took a hundred grand's worth of this dope from Lenny the Fink, and some of it's still reaching the streets. All we know is that two victims turned up carrying army surplus morphine. Cole, you write a lot of good notes, so you should be an author. Okay, well, let's go, and I say we go to... Where should we go? Let's go to the... Hmm... Should probably go back to the police station and see what they have to say. The coroners and the, the detectives. So that's where we're going to head now. Goodbye, pretty club. Goodbye, woman hostess. I gotta drive my fire truck out of here. Excuse me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You gotta be kidding me. We're driving this. Yes, Rusty and Roy. Don't you remember we drove this on the way here? How well did you know the owner? Goldrick? Well enough. He was in my unit. That's some cruel irony. You survive the war, then get blown to pieces back home. It happens more than you'd think. Young guys trying to adjust to normal life, getting mixed up in the wrong crowds. The kid had just bought a nightclub. I'd say he got mixed up in the right crowds. Until someone filled him full of holes. You don't come into that kind of money that quickly without pissing a few people off. Exactly why you're a smart man. Cola King agrees. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, we don't respond. We are a fire truck crew. We're not a police crew today. Tomorrow, maybe, but not today, guys. Thank you very much for watching this episode. Next time, we will talk to the robbery detectives. We will investigate the blue room. Try and figure out this mysterious morphing mystery. Thank you very much once again for watching. Have a fantastic day! Hit that like button if you'd be so kind. I'm gonna do my very best to wrap up Eleanor. The next couple of days here, so look forward to it. Thank you guys very much once again. Uh oh. There's Finbar. Maybe it's not Finbar. It kind of looked like him, though. Hollywood Police Station, 519. That fucking rat Stoker has gone public about Brenda. Who is Brenda? Brenda is L.A.'s most famous madam. Everyone knows it? Of course everyone knows. Brenda pays her way. Are we cops or a collection agency? Whores have been around since the Bible. Our job is to keep it off the street so Joe Citizen and his wife can stroll around unmolested. Then we should change the law. Are you out of your mind? Every politician in America is against prostitution, except when they're using them. So where does Stoker come in? He objects to the LAPD and the administration taking its cut. Is everyone in on this? Yeah, and that's the problem. From a little acorn does a large tree grow. He could bring the whole thing crashing down on us. Aren't you supposed to be working the... Sir, do you know which robbery detectives are working the army surplus theft from the Coolidge? Caldwell and McManus. I saw Caldwell in the squad room not long ago if you want to speak to him. Thank you, sir. We'll do that. This way. Okay, we'll go this way, and you get an extra little scene there to wrap this episode up. Thanks again for the fourth time this episode. Have a fantastic day for the second time, and for the first time. Until next time, we will see you later.